Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear students. Welcome to the third lecture of Data Science 101. Today, we are going to discuss what is data science and what are the various data science platforms. Uh, to be specific, we would be more discussing about Oracle Cloud. We would also be discussing why data science platforms are required by the organization, organizations all over the globe. We would also be looking into uh, why, uh, what is the market size of the data science platforms. And uh, we would be a little more discussing about the hierarchical st structure um, for the data science career uh, path if you are willing to follow it. So let's start today's video. And you are watching the Data Science 101 by Data Science Refresher Men's Story Education. Let's start the video. Today's agenda how to launch your data science career. Uh, we would be discussing a little bit about the te technical FAQs. We would be also discussing about the data science platforms industry. And we would also be discussing a little bit about uh, what are the challenges that are faced by the various data science all over the world and how data science platforms sometimes helps to uh, conquer these challenges. So let's start. So uh, uh, first of all, we would be discussing about the pyramid. So uh, there are two career pathways uh, for if you want to be a data scientist, um, you can be a data systems developer, you can be a data scientist, uh, straightforward. Uh, but if you are following the career path uh, from a different point of view, like from the computer science career point of view, so first you should have some uh, foundational data skills that includes the stats, data analysis, MS Excel, data visualization. Further on, uh, if you want to become, you can become a functional analyst and a data analyst. So if you want to become a functional analyst, you should have some domain knowledge uh, um, with which uh, you should more focus about the dashboards, the Tableau, Power BI, etc. If you want to be a data driven manager, which is at the same equivalent level of the data scientist uh, or the data systems developer, uh, deep domain knowledge is specif uh, spe specifically required for that. Now, if you want to become a data analyst, you should have the business intelligence uh, skill, which is the most important one. You should also know about data modeling, data mining, R, Python, and SQL. If you want to specifically become a data scientist, the best um, skills you should be having is predictive modeling, algorithms, deep learning, etc. Uh, if you want to become a data systems developer, re relational database, machine learning, and Spark. These are the major tools and the skills you should be, you know, familiarize yourself with. So coming on uh, to what is data science? As per Oracle, what is the definition? Data science merges the various fields and that includes the measurements, logical techniques, artificial intelligence, data analysis to extract ex esteemed inf information from the data. The people who practice data science are called data scientists and they join a scope of ability abilities to analyze the data gathered from the web uh, like and from also from the cell phone data and from the clients from various sensors from various automation devices and they generate noteworthy insights from them so coming to the uh, uh, next part which is the what is the difference between a data scientist artificial intelligence uh, data science artificial intelligence and machine learning so uh, the straightforward breakdown says that the um, artificial intelligence or ai Implement, uh, implies getting a PC to imitate human behavior and you know everywhere. Uh, so a data scientist is a, sub, uh, a subset of data science is the subset of AI and it alludes more over covering areas of measurements, logical strategies and data analysis uh, which are all used to extract you know significant insights. So data science is like a sub part in the um, artificial domain and in intelligence uh, uh, domain. For the artificial intelligence is uh, um, uh, uh, is one more subset of uh, 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 AI and morally like we want to focus more on uh, you know uh, what a particular piece of uh, understanding is helping us out with. So if we talk about artificial intelligence, there are various domains in which it can be implemented. Um, and if you are just looking for the machine learning, it can help you, you know, let us say prediction of the uh, stocks in, uh, for Tesla for tomorrow, maybe. So th that comes under the machine learning part. But when you are talking about artificial intelligence, it can be like um, the machines imitating human behavior, the PC is imitating human behavior. Um, 
and in data science uh, the insights also come in like what is the you know data big data is gathered from so many uh, places and then it is uh, you know uh, properly mined and then insights are generated from it so that part is covered on the um, uh, data science so how data science is transforming the businesses data science is for sure transforming the businesses in a way that the businesses get uh, get to know like which customer they are you know um, going to have as a repeat and uh, what would be his next purchase fee uh, or uh, but what is his pattern and then you know, thousands of customers are there hundreds and hundreds and thousands of customers are there so um, uh, we you know uh, it works on a tolerant um, uh, determinations by examining the clinical trial data and detailed indications uh, so that uh, you know specialists can analyze um, infections prior to treat them uh on more act- um, actually streamline the inventory uh, network by forcing when the hardware will separate so these are two different senses in the first instance is like we can um, determine like when the patients are going to you know increase or decrease maybe with the corona virus covid data uh, we can analyze that and uh, um, like when the waves will come there are a lot of projects going on um uh, i would also try to provide a link um, maybe in one or two days uh, for this particular uh, research um we would be going through kaggle in the next video so um i would be sharing like uh, how to extract the coronavirus uh, data um, and also or we would be also looking into uh, the uh, few of the projects few of the notebooks available on kaggle uh, for in the open source domain uh, to you know analyze this kind of data uh, there itself so it would be the first uh, example project um, that you can you know uh, take it as a baseline and then you uh, create your own projects uh, on top of it uh, so coming to the next part data science is transforming businesses uh, so we have uh, covered through it uh, we have also uh, gartner's new uh, review uh, that it says that uh, 3000 C- uh, CIOs respondents positions and li- analytics and business intelligence as the top separating uh, innovation for their associations so uh, uh, how data science is continued um, you know um, first uh, you know how data science is you know taken forward so um, the first main thing is arranging the data and defining and uh, undertaking uh, uh, and its ex- Uh, expected results so we have to first arrange the data then we have to build a data model on top of it then we are going to access that model and when that model we have access uh, it's more about like clarifying of the uh, models like which one is uh, let us say we have created three models so we would be uh, finalizing which model we are going to take forward and then uh, conveying the model uh, in which we are providing the model with the data with some trained data with some expected data and then uh, Uh, also, uh, it, we are we are asking the uh, you know model to create some more for the insights uh, into the data um, uh, on the forecast or maybe predictions, and also we would be observing the various models. Uh, um, you know, we would be checking their accuracy. That is the one which is kind of nice. We are going to take it forward. So various tools for data science. This is one of the most important things. Which tools you know. you should be looking into but for a beginner from a beginner point of view what oracle says um, if you would be providing the link to you know the various data science platforms uh, so what oracle says is that uh, uh, jupiter r studio and zeppelin and these three are the most uh, most important notebooks that people generally use so uh, you can go to jupiter you can you know download it into into your system you can go for r studio or you can go for zeppelin so my personal favorites are jupiter and r studio i use both of them so notebooks are very useful for conducting analysis but have their own limitations when data science need to work as a team so data science platforms were built to solve this particular problem so now we are um, trying to understand what a data science platform looks like so a data science platform basically uh, helps solve these kind of issues that are provided with the uh, native uh, notebooks so these notebooks are good for uh, individual um, data scientists but when you are talking in terms of a team you are scaling up operations then you buy you know further uh, data science platforms and bigger um, solutions 
So who oversees the data science process? So business managers, they see the, uh, oversee the process inside an organization. IT managers, like senior IT directors, they look into which data has to be provided to the data scientists um, uh, for the, you know, generating insights or business intelligence or uh, maybe other kind of future trends or something like that. Then there are uh, data science managers, uh, like if there is a team, uh, then there's a manager inside uh, that team. Um, these directors who provide the data science group and their everyday work. So they provide them tasks and you know everything is managed and if there are issues they are raised maybe in Jira or other um, you know um, ticketing services um, so that uh, other uh, team members can you know look into them solve them and then a report can be generated at the end of the month that can be shared with the um, you know high level authorities so that they understand like okay every day there's something going on inside the team which is very valuable because sometimes data scientists have to wait for a very long time and that wait is because the IT managers or the junior IT teams, they don't provide the data and when they provide the data, it's too late or it's of no use and uh, or maybe the rules that are used to analyze these particular um, uh, data sets uh, are not good enough. So what is a data scientist? We have discussed this like uh, a data scientist, um, we, you know, uh, basically has to model some particular uh, piece of uh, programming uh, to find out insights we, uh, he, he has to like help the machine to learn uh, from the data that is available and then uh, to create insights uh, into it uh, so coming to the next part what are the benefits of a data science platform so uh, data science platforms uh, uh, they decrease over the repetitiveness and uh, drive to development by empowering groups to share the code, results, and reports. It eliminates the bottlenecks in the progression of the work by improving on administration and using the best practices. So the bottleneck that was created by earlier, like uh, the R uh, Studio and Jupyter um, for, when working in a team is now actually uh, resolved by the data science platform. That is why data science has platforms. They also help uh, in uh, making the API. Um, it also helps to convey the model you know, for the APIs and also making it simple to coordinate with the various applications um, like sometimes it happens that the data available is maybe in CSV form and data written is in some other uh, and uh, uh, you know maybe our uh, language and then the data is further uh, is given to some other application which is incompatible um, so it means that sometimes it is uh, the pipe uh, pipeline is not accurate so um, uh, these are the, all the problems that the data science platform solve. So uh, Oracle Cloud is one particular uh, platform uh, that you can utilize for uh, data science and uh, it would be really nice. Uh, um, the link is in description. You can go through it, you can understand. And uh, uh, if you're working in an organization, you can obviously, you can look into it and uh, suggest your maybe managers or maybe uh, your directors that you would be requiring this particular kind of a solution if you're building a data science uh, team of data scientists in your organization or maybe for a client. So um, uh, I hope you like the lecture today. So uh, when it is the right uh, uh, science, uh, 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 when a data science platform is the right tool, so uh, uh, you can you know uh, utilize it uh, when you want to increase the productivity and the uh, collaboration. You, if you want uh, machine learning models uh, that can be audited for uh, or reproduced, you can utilize the data science platform and uh, models never make it to production. Uh, so if you're facing this particular challenge, you can uh, you know look into a data science platform. If you are a student, uh, you should have a knowledge about uh, what data science platforms is. You don't need to get into uh, too much into detail into it as of now because we are beginning just the course that is data science 101. So this is just the lecture three. So you should have a familiarity with whenever in the later series we'll cover in depth detail about the data science platform. So in that case, uh, you should have a familiarity with this concept that we have studied uh, a little knowledge about the data science platforms and that there is some say, technology or something existing like that. So uh, I hope uh, uh, you like today's lecture. Uh, so if you are looking for authentic government job exams uh, uh, and result notifications, you should go to uh, sarkari result in jobs.com. The link here is provided on the screen. Um, 
so or maybe in somebody in your family who is looking for some authentic jobs or maybe is looking to uh, you know uh, do some uh, exams or uh, prepare for some government exams or uh, you know is uh, um, uh, looking for answer keys or the result notifications or the admit card so for that particular uh, purpose there is this website uh, sarkari result and jobs.com which you can go and check it out so i hope you like today's lecture uh, please do like share and subscribe so this is lecture 3 data science um, uh, 101 and uh, you're watching the venture studio education thank you so much have a nice day